Hi, my name is Dr. Anna Wolfson. I'm an allergist at Massachusetts General Hospital, and I'm the Director of Quality and Safety for the Allergy Unit at Mass General. I'm here today to discuss allergy symptoms, allergy testing, and allergy shots. First of all, what would bring a patient into our unit to discuss their allergy symptoms? Patients who experience runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, especially during peak seasons such as spring, fall, or around certain triggers such as pets, including dogs and cats, or exposure to dust mites may come into our clinic to get treatment. The first step for this is to do allergy testing. Allergy testing entails putting small amounts of allergen on your skin to assess if you are allergic to those things that I named, such as pets, pollen, dust mites, cockroaches, molds. The first thing we would ask you to do is to remain off your antihistamines, which are your allergy medications, such as Allegra, Zyrtec, Claritin, or Benadryl. This enables us to get a good assessment of your allergic response through your skin so that the medications do not interfere with the test. When you come into our clinic, we will ask you to come into the allergy testing room so that we can perform skin testing. We will be testing you to tree pollens, grass pollens, weed pollens, cockroaches, dust mites, and molds. We also can test to pet dander, including cats, dogs, horses, birds, and more. When it's time to do the allergy testing, we will take you back to the allergy testing room. We will then put each allergen individually on your skin. We place a very small amount of the allergen and use a small plastic tool to scratch the skin. This allows a small amount of allergen to enter the skin to cause an allergic reaction. If a hive develops, then we know you are allergic to it. If no hive develops, then you're not allergic on this level of the testing. For the allergens that are negative on the first part of the testing, we can then take a very dilute concentration and using a small needle, introduce the allergen underneath your skin on your upper part of your arm. What you're allergic to in the second part of the testing, you are allergic to, but less so than if it had been positive on the first part of the testing because it took more exposure to cause an allergic reaction. In both areas, there will be a positive and a negative control. The positive control is histamine, just to make sure that you're capable of mounting an allergic reaction to things placed on your skin. The negative control is saline, to make sure that you do not have an allergic reaction to everything that is placed on your skin. There are about 30 allergens tested, and the testing takes about 45 minutes. At the end of the testing, you'll have a list of what you're allergic to, what you're highly allergic to, what you're less so allergic to, and also what you're not allergic to. At that point, you'll go back to discuss with your allergist whether you're a candidate for allergy shots. Allergy shots are a way of causing patients to become desensitized, meaning less reactive, to their allergens. How it works is we would make up a prescription for you with all of the allergens that you just tested positive to on the allergy testing. Using those vials, we have you come in on a weekly basis and we desensitize you. This means that we cause your immune system to be less reactive over time to those allergens. At the beginning, you must come in on a weekly basis. It takes about seven to nine months to reach top dose through this procedure. After you've completed the buildup, and you've gotten to the top dose, you can then transition to monthly dosing. Most patients remain on monthly dosing for approximately three to five years, depending on their response and their side effects. Some patients do experience allergic side effects to allergy shots. It is very common to have some redness and itching at the site of the allergy shots. However, more severe reactions can occur, such as wheezing, shortness of breath, hives, or swelling. For this reason, every time you receive an allergy shot, you must remain in our office for 30 minutes so that we could observe you to make sure that you are safe and to treat you in the case of a bad allergic reaction. Patients always ask about the schedule for allergy shots and there is a little bit of leeway with the schedule. During the weekly buildup period, the shots should be given between five and 14 days. 
If there's more than 14 days have passed, you may have to repeat a dose or even go backwards in your dosing, depending on the amount of time that's passed. Patients also ask about billing, and generally it's covered, well, this is also based on the insurance and can be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. Most patients feel much better after they've been on allergy shots, although it may take about nine months to a year to see significant improvement. The goal would be to use fewer allergy medications and to have fewer symptoms throughout the entire year. It will take six to eight weeks to get started on allergy shots after you discuss with your physician that you would like to do so. One thing to mention is when you come in for your weekly allergy treatment, the nurse is the one administering the allergy shot. If there is an emergency, the medical doctor will absolutely see you. If you feel that you have any of these allergy symptoms, please don't hesitate to reach out to Mass General Allergy.